Hello everyone and welcome back. Last week was quite a delight. So many little things happened that filled me with lot of positivity and I definitely felt quite rejuvenated. So to celebrate that, I decided to cook something special and delicious the entire day and thought of sharing the same idea with you all. Easy breakfast are my favorite and this time I decided to make vegetable chila sandwich. Sandwiches are love no matter what shape and form they come in. So if you are also as crazy as me for sandwiches, give me a big thumbs up and enjoy this easy and delicious treat. In the meanwhile, I'll keep sharing with you all about that little happiness of this week. The first thing that was great this week was the weather change. The sudden two days of shower was much needed to survive the Delhi heat. As much as I like summers, scorching heat cannot be anyone's delight. With the weekend shower, everything just felt alive again. Nice cool breeze, the fragrance of wet soil, happy green plants and sitting on the balcony while sipping tea were some of the many small joys that set the mood right when i said that this sandwich is really easy i meant it all it takes is mixing everything in a bowl and using the mixture to make an effortless but fancier sandwich and even though there is no effort this sandwich is very different from the regular ones and has lots of healthy delights. By making the pockets in the bread and then filling the batter gives nice surprise with each bite. Cheese in breakfast is love. So I will add a piece of that and close it with the cut out bread to avoid any food wastage. With the look of it, it looks just like a single bread but tastes just so amazing. And this with lots of fruits alongside make this entire breakfast setup looks very appetizing. Since the weather became good, we were craving for a nice plate of spicy food. So I decided to make a different version of chola kulcha. I had pre-boiled the chola last night. And I will now put them to boil with a few whole spices and dried amla, which is the actual color maker of chola. Tea leaves are another alternative to the dried amla. While chola is boiling, I'll make masala for the stuffed kulcha. So, as I was telling you, the second best thing about last week was a short visit by parents. It was just for a day 
but it gave all of us a great change the number of gossip we did was phenomenal and kids were just so happy to see their grandparents the time went by in a blink of an eye along with them my sister in law also came from abroad for a day's visit anybody coming from abroad means lots and lots of gifts so she bought so many dresses for me and kids and we all can't wait to wear them in our next vacation spot kulcha masala is ready but chole still has some time to go so i'll make a quick lachha onion to go with it this is a must have side dish with these chola kulchas and make a world of a difference to the overall platter i highly recommend that you try this side dish at least once Once chole is done, I will sieve and separate them from water. I'll also discard the added whole spices and amla from it. The chola recipe is very quick to make and is absolutely effortless. Mainly because I will not make any onion tomato paste for this, but if you like, you can change the recipe to suit your taste. I make chola in a lot of different ways. Some of them are quite elaborate, but this one is for my lazy days. I'll add all dry spices into the chola and keep the chola mixture ready. And now I'll prepare the tadka to add some more spices that will bring some more flavors to the chola. Now I'll prepare a wet mixture for the chola. I will start by making a ginger garlic spice paste to add to the masala. Now in a kadhai, I'll saute a few spices along with this ginger garlic paste. add some water into the masala to save them from burning once the masala will leave the oil i'll add the chola mixture and the chola water little by little to add some gravy to this Chola is completely ready and now I'll make piping hot kulcha on the tawa. For kulcha I would like to avoid maida and use whole wheat dough instead that I had kneaded and kept aside for 15 minutes. Adding to my list of good things Another addition was talking to a friend for hours. We spoke about our common passion, shared a lot of notes, learned a few new things from each other and shared all positive vibes. It's exactly the same positivity I get when I read your encouraging messages and that's the reason I emphasize connecting with you guys a lot. Your advice your good wishes compliments and your insights on the vlogs 
give me so much happiness that I can't express that in words. So that's why keep those messages coming in if you think I deserve those good vibes. This will surely motivate me to create even better vlogs. Lunch was super delicious. Ruthvi enjoyed the chola even though it was a bit spicy for her. Dhare had his mixed veg khichdi once he had some little taste of the meal. I can be sad with you Just take my hand and fly up through the dream In the evening once the kids come back from their park giving them some fruits and juices make an appropriate snack in summer So I made watermelon lemonade for all of us The recipe is linked in the description below for you all to check Ruthvi wanted to have some noodles for dinner but just giving the noodles makes no sense to me so i decided to make them healthier and made a ramen bowl for everyone i had made ramen bowl many times when i was in malaysia and used to love them so much as they are a perfect blend of taste and nutrition I am not a nutritionist but when it comes to healthy eating my idea always lies in replacing unhealthy with healthy or adding nutrition to the food which otherwise has no health benefit This way I am able to retain the mood taste and concept of the food while also making sure that it gives the required fuel to the body instead of targeting just one healthy meal balancing the nutrition throughout the day gives a wholesome satisfaction be it cooking or eating the meal and a ramen bowl is one such meal idea i guess we drifted away from our main topic today so the next great thing that happened was that i did some great home shopping as i'm trying to revive my living room look little by little but even in that the good part was that everything was a okay in the first go <laughs> sorry but really for me returning and replacing order is a big pain Let me know if you also sail in the same boat. This week I also gave a lot of time exercising. It felt so great to get back into the rhythm again. I followed a routine and tried my best to stick to it. And lastly the best part was that Karthik took a week off. It was so much needed for all of us. We didn't go anywhere but instead we lazed around and rested a lot. Had a great family time, ticked off some really big tasks that were pending for ages. Of course, the time flew so fast that I'm left craving for more. But then good times feel special. as they are served in small packages since happiness has no set definition feeling good about these small things 
help in creating a very positive perspective. Even if the day looks similar from a bird's eye view, there is still that small nitty-gritty that can make us feel happy and good about our day. All it takes is giving a mindful thought, recalling those little special moments and reminding them to ourselves. Noodles coupled with lot of veggies, delicious broth and protein-rich paneer made it a wholesome meal. Yes, the effort was relatively more, but the taste made up for all the efforts taken. This ramen bowl came out outstanding and worth giving a try. The idea of healthy ramen bowl was communicated to Ruthvi well in advance so that her expectations were set right. Thankfully, she accepted the dish with equal excitement. I hope this video was helpful in giving you some ideas on what to cook for the day. I really like sharing small updates about the week with you all and would love to hear some updates from you too. So quickly pen them down in the comments as I'll be waiting for them. Join me on Instagram for some daily life updates. Subscribe to the channel if you really enjoy such vlogs and do share your feedback in the comment section to help me improve. And I'll see you in my next video. Until next time, stay tuned and stay connected.